so obviously because we're like playing a variety of like NES games during this segment, I was trying to figure out what should I like because you know how when you change the title of your stream you can change the game that you're playing? But obviously it's gonna be like a variety of games, so it's like what do I what does that fall under? So I thought about it and I was like, you know what, NES Remix would kind of work if you think about it, because it's like we're playing a whole bunch of like NES games. So yeah, we'll, we'll go with NES Remix. I need to play that game again sometime, that's a really fun game. I kind of wish Nintendo would port that to Switch, NES Remixes 1 and 2. Right, so here we go. Retro Roulette. Retro Roulette. I still can't say that word, uh, those words uh, back to back. But if you've not seen this before, basically I play NES games from a, a large stockpile of basically official, unofficial, unlicensed bootleg, all that fun stuff. But I play them as randomly selected by this thing that I'm using. So when I press the random button, it picks one for me and I play it for a few minutes and then we'll see what it is and what it's like. So we might get a good game, but it's mostly going to be weird stuff, I guess. Garbage or like kind of weird shit. Remember that fucking uh, game that I got the last time, the suicidal... What was it called again? It was like suicidal princess something. I, I forgot the full title of it, but it was like such a fucking bizarre title for a game. Anyway, here's Spot. That's the first one. Is this Cool Spot? As in the 7-Up mascot from the 90s? Yeah, 7-Up. Right, okay then. Oh, hang on, volume. So I didn't know there was a cool spot game for NES. I thought it was like uh, SNES and Genesis, but I guess there was an NES game as well. Edit board? Uh, let's... Boop. What is... What kind of a game is this? Okay, so welcome to 51 Worldwide Games, or Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics. What the fuck am I doing? Well, check out that fluid animation for NES. Okay, so... I'm taking turns against, like, me against the CPU. We're, like, moving counters. I'm not sure what the rules are exactly. Can I move diagonally? Okay, so I'm, I'm not sure if this game's gonna be, gonna be any good. It's probably garbage. But I love the fluidity of the animations. Like, look at how smoothly he moves around. Well, that's pretty fucking impressive for NES standards. It's like, what the fuck do I do? Am I supposed to, like, just get this all the way across to the other side? Is that the goal? I don't know how you did that. Yeah, I don't understand this game. So wait, can I just take over his counter? No? How did he, like, jump over, like, five tiles? Yeah, I don't understand this. I mean, cool and all. Kind of cool spot, cool. But, you know, um, if I don't understand the rules, I can't really play this, so... We're just gonna move on from that. That was an interesting one. Oh, hey there, Green. You're just in time for club, uh, <laughs> Clubhouse Games. You're just in time for Retro retro Roulette. I don't know why my tongue is unable to pronounce the R in Roulette when I say that back to back. Retro Roulette. Retro roulette. I don't know, I guess it's a Scottish thing. Defenders of the Crown. Or Defender of the Crown, rather. No S in there. Ultra Games, I know that branding. That's the same branding. It's like under the Konami house of like games. And I think the first TMNT game was under the Ultra Games uh, branding. In the year of our Lord. Wait, did they make reference to God? You can't do that in Nintendo games. Uh, 1149, when the king returned from the... Yeah, yeah I'm not going to read all that. Wilfred of Evan... Evandi? Evando? Evani? I can't, I can't read that fucking font. Let me turn the volume down just a little bit. I feel like the fucking sawtooth instruments are like sawing through my brain right now. 
You stopped to visit Robin of Loxley, but your old friend's has disastrous news. Again, this font is difficult to read for me. During your journey, an assassin took the king's life, plunging the kingdom into turmoil. The king left no heir. Wow, that's, that's a good piece of art. I didn't press the A button, by the way. The game just, like, was like, okay, he spent enough time reading this. Let's just move on. Normans? Normans? Are assembling... Yeah, I'm not going to read all that shit. So what is this game about? Is it like a strategy game? What the fuck is this? Tournament? Conquest? Go raiding by army? I don't know what this is about, so... Philip Cedric... Also, don't you love it that you can't fucking read the option when you're highlighting it, so you have to, like, take the cursor off it to read it? It's like, for example, this middle one, it's like, okay, I'm gonna select B... A... A... I'm gonna select Brian. Am I playing? I don't know if I'm playing right now. I guess not. An expectant hush falls over the gallery as the marshal gives the signal to the gallant knights. Spur their horses into action, so we're jousting. Oh shit, what the... Did I... Did I do it? Oh cool, I did it. I, I think I was the red one. Am I the blue one now? What was going on? So it's just like a bunch of minigames? In ye old England? It's like a renaissance fair, except it's real. Kind of. Ah, shit. I think I was the blue one that time. A long day. Thus your day ends in the lists of Ashby. You hear... Not... You, you hear not the champ... You were not the champion. Again, this fucking font is giving me an aneurysm. But your deeds will be remembered. Leaving for home, you vow to something. So I earn some gold by doing that. Um, read map. Select the territory. So yeah, this is England. This this whole part is like the bottom of the UK. I can tell by its shape. So if you like, you can't see it. Like there's like fucking water there, as if the rest of this island doesn't exist. But if you keep going south, you reach Scotland. For those, there's a, there's a fun little geography fact for you there. This is the bottom half of the UK. Look up UK on the map, on, on like the world map, and you'll see that this is like the bottom half of like the UK. So anyways. Essex. Alright, what, what about this one? Yeah, I don't think I'll be spending too long on this one. Gloucester? Gloucester? Dorset. All the way down here is... Okay. Is this an edutainment game? I can't fucking tell. Wow, that's a great face. I love that face. Also, it looks like it's wearing a fucking spike collar. Do you see that? The collar looks a little bit spiky. Yeah, I'm not going to play this any longer. Pro I have no idea what I'm doing. Which is usually like a red flag and usually like indication I should stop playing it and try a different game. Wrecking Crew, the versus version. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to play the regular Wrecking Crew and I'm just going to mark both of them off. I think it's easier if I just do that. So I've never played the Wrecking Crew. I know this is like one of Nintendo's early first party NES games. I've seen references to it. Phase. Wait, why, why is the phase thing going up? Was Hang on, how do you reset? Let me try... I didn't mean to make a phase go up, which I'm assuming is levels. I want to like try the first one. But yeah, I've seen this game referenced countless times. Usually it appears in like WarioWare games. Oh, fuck it, we'll do phase two then. I keep pressing the A button thinking that starts it. You hit start to start. So in this game you play as like Mario as like a builder. I think the idea is to like break these things. Yeah, Smash Brothers has a stage based off this as well. So if you played Smash Brothers, this will be familiar to you. 
also fucking eggplants, it looks like. Oh jeez. I thought I was gonna die there, but I guess not. I, I solved the puzzle. You just, have, you just have to destroy all the walls, I guess. Oh, so what are these fucking enemies? We've got like a spring snake now. Oh, I can't, I can't walk over that. That's blocking me. I see. So yeah, early NES games were more arcade oriented. Like you had Donkey Kong, you had Mario Brothers arcades. Uh, how do I go in there? Do I have to open? Oh, there's a little bit of a thing from Mario Brothers arcade. Speaking of. Don't know how to go in there. Is there a jump button? I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Both the A and B buttons swing the hammer. Swing your hammer from side to side! Anybody familiar with this game? How do I get back up? Because I'm, I'm stuck down here. Did I, did I screw it up? Can I not get back up there? Again, I've never played <laughs> I've never played this before, so this is like my first time playing Wrecking Crew. Yep, yep, C couldn't really get out of that one. I wonder if the select button does anything. Sorry, I keep pressing the start button thinking that stalls it. Oh. So the button takes you back to the title screen. That's a, a novel concept. Right, okay then, next game. I've seen enough of that one. Monopoly. I don't remember how to play Monopoly, to be honest. I think the idea is you, like, buy properties and make as much money as possible. But I haven't played Monopoly in years. I didn't know there was a Monopoly game for NES. I think I saw something there that said the Division of Tonka. What the fuck is Tonka? Right, so we'll just do two players then, sure. I hope the other player is a CPU, otherwise... Wait a minute. Player 1, this is human or computer. Human... Human... Oh, I see, right, okay. And then... Let's call myself A, just so we can speed through this. Use the arrow keys to change the token and then press the A button so we get to pick the little... This was one thing I liked about Monopoly, just like the little pieces, the little metal um, player pieces that you could get. I always liked the... I liked the little, um, what do you call that, a Yorkshire Terrier? The little dog? I always liked that one. Looks a bit scummy in this game, but you can still make out what it is. So player 2, computer. <laughs> right, okay then. Arthur, Gerud, Irwin and Maud. So what was the point in... What? I'm, not, I'm not sure what bottom for. Wait a minute. So what are... What, what's the purpose of these characters exactly? Is this my avatar that I'm picking? You know, I kind of like, I like... I like Isaac's face. It looks like a fucking me. A uh, me figure thing. A me... What do you call it? A me face? As in M-I-I, the Nintendo Wii me, me faces. So I'm going to pick that because I kind of like that face. Press A to play without time limits, or press B to play a short game. Uh, I'm not going to be playing the whole game of this anyway, let's just play without time limit. Press A to start, or B to use the game editor. A. You've one chance to go first, please press the A button to start. So here's Monopoly, for all fucking two people who don't know what Monopoly is. Speaking of which, I think Nintendo announced there's going to be a Mario Monopoly, and... I'm kind of surprised because I thought a Mario Monopoly already existed, because everything has a Monopoly now. Like, even Glasgow, the city I live in, has a Monopoly game, if you can believe that. Right, so I have to pay money. Shit. Already paying fucking tax. Right, so CPU's turn. Connection Avenue. 
uh, they just bought it, I thought, I think. St. Charles Place up and down, C, D to A to buy, B to auction. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. Right, my turn. Oh, I got 12. Indiana Avenue. Uh, sure, I'll just buy it. Again, I won't be playing this for very long. I just want to see what happens after I go around once. I, may, I mean, you get $200, but we'll just do like one lap of this. <laughs> well, I'm in jail now. How do you get out of jail again? Do you have to like pay bit bail or something? Meanwhile, this fucker is just like buying everything up while I'm stuck in jail. You got a chance called. I didn't get a chance to read that <laughs> there. Okay, Don't now I can leave. Wait, what did that say? Did anyone catch what that was? Actually, hang on a minute. Um, wait, 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 wait. Bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to make out what the fuck that's saying, hang on. I don't have four arms, so I'm not, like trying to do this in a weird way. Okay, well, never mind. Don't be coming back now. Is that because I got, like, double twos? Like, what the fuck? Also, I just landed in jail again. Good. Community chest. Wow, and this, this dude's getting, like, all the money. Right, okay, then I'm done with that. Thank God for re Rewind so I could like listen to what that said or like try to listen to it. But yeah, let's do the next game now. Oh, Prince of Persia, this is a, a classic. It's aged a little bit, but it's a game that I... I didn't have this on NES, but I had like the Game Boy Color port of the NES game. And it's pretty fun. It's nothing like the Ubisoft Prince of Persia games from like a couple generations ago, so don't get too excited, it's nothing like that. This is like one of those games that uses like rotoscoping, which is the technique of like basically animating stuff that's like already recorded as like, it's hard to explain. It's like you trace somebody's like bodily movements. That, that doesn't sound right. You, you trace somebody running and animate it. Essentially that's rotoscoped. So let me try the game for real. I'll just show you the first level. So you can use the passwords, which I did not want to do. Can I leave? <laughs> Before we even begin the game, I'm already dead. Good. Right, let's do a new game. So this game has like a time limit. You've got like 60 minutes to get to the end of the game, essentially. You can run, you can jump. I think you can attack as well, but you need to find a sword first. Nothing over there. How do I walk? Wait a minute. Oh, I see. You hold the B button to walk, right? It's one of those games. Watch out for that trap. Also, I think there's switch here. Yep. That's a pressure pad that opens this. So yeah, I used to play this on the Game Boy Color a lot, like back when the Game Boy Color was the new thing. And the Game Boy Color port was quite fun, I quite enjoyed that. Even though it's a game that can be beaten within 60 minutes, I used to spend like hours on this game because I would get stuck on many of the levels. And it has like a password feature, so it's like you can return to it at any time, if you know what the password is. Right, so let's uh, slowly climb down there. I think this heals me? Yep, there we go. So those three red arrows down there are basically your... Oh shit. Wow. Yeah, let's um... Let's pretend this is fucking Sands of Time and I can rewind time. Let's just do that. Wait, there's nothing in there? 
and now I'm fucking humping the wall. Yep. I love video games. Ah, shit. I thought there was something hidden in there, but I guess not. I guess the only purpose down there was just to get that potion to heal yourself. Please, print, Prince, please. Controls are a little bit archaic. It was the 80s, it was the best we could do. Apes Odyssey has better controls than this, by the way. There we go. Yeah! For the record, I tried jumping there, I just pressed the jump button too late. Can we get a bit of a run up? I'll try jumping now. There we go. Ouch. That fucking tile hit me on the head there. Right, so there's my sword. Wow, flashing. Yeah, seizures! Yeah! Ouch. So, you'll fight enemies at certain points in the game. It's like a one-on-one -on -one sword fight duel, essentially. That's going to be a, a, a death trap. So I think before we finish the level, we'll run, we'll run into, like, a soldier. I knew that was going to be a spike trap. Okay, so how the fuck do I get out here, then? Oh, I see, I'm supposed to climb up there. Right, okay then. I need to play the Ubisoft, like, uh, Prince of Persia game sometime on stream. Like, I remember playing Sands of Time several years ago. That game is legit fun. I can see that being a good a game to stream through. Eventually, I'll, ch I'll do that. Yeah! I'm so glad I added Rewind to this, just so I can, like, do this more easily. Oh, I can't even jump from there. I guess I need to... I guess I need to run and jump twice. Oh, come on! Unless... Hang on a minute. Okay, so I stopped doing that for a second. I think I can jump from a standstill. R wrong, wrong direction or wrong function. Right, okay, you can do that. You have to, like, tiptoe and then, like, do a, a jump from standstill. So I think that guy that I'm going to be fighting shortly is going to be coming up. Mm, can't go down there. Yeah, just, just do all the wrong buttons then, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Boy, the first level sure takes a while if you're trial and erroring your way through this. By the way, if you die, you have to do the whole level again. It's one of those games. That's why I'm rewinding, because I'm not doing this whole thing again. Okay, so here's our first opponent. So you just have to, like, find an opening and strike him. There we go. And then we can move on. So this is the exit gate. But before we go in there, I think I need to, like, open it. I think this might be the pressure pad that opens it. If I can fucking position myself in the right place, I can actually... There we go. Okay, 
So that took me like fucking five minutes just to go through that first level. And that's like the easiest one. So yeah, you get a password, you... If you can't like play the game in one sitting, you can just like return to it any time. But yeah, there you go, that's Prince of Persia. Again, I played the Game Boy Color version of that, which is a little bit more... To my recollection, I guess it's a little bit more polished than that version. But it's been so long since I played that game that I don't remember, but I'm gonna assume it was better than that. Next up, Thunder and Lightning. Sounds like a shoot 'em up, a shmup. Romstar. Never heard of that company, but okay. Okay. Oh, it's a fucking... it's Arkanoids. I, that was like the last fucking thing I was expecting from a game called... what was it called? Thunder something? I forgot already, was it Lightning and Thunder? Also, check out that fucking, like, drum sample that's playing. Boom. Fucking timpani drum playing, or whatever that instrument is called. I mean, if you like this kind of game, then yeah, I guess you would. I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with the game, it's fine. I just wasn't expecting an Arkanoid clone of all things. Yep, that was my fault. Even with the power of rewind, I still fucking suck. I'll clear one board just so we can see what board number two looks like, but yeah, don't, don't expect me to play this for very long. We pretty much get the idea of this one. That fucking drum sample though, like it's digging into my brain cells right now. Bomb! Bomb! Bada bomb, bomb, bada bomb! Oh jeez. Not sure what I just picked up there. Oh, it's a catching thing, right, I see. Nice! There we go. That'll make things a lot easier. It replaces my catch, but you know what, I'll take that. If only I could shoot the... If I, I, like, I would like to shoot the metal ball up to the... Like, if I could get it at the very top so I can like hit it from above, that would be nice. You always get a big dopamine hit when you manage to do that. Not quite. Maybe now? Nope. Yeah, this could maybe take a few minutes. Why am I still playing this? I, I just want to finish one level, but it's just taking forever. Oh, almost. I was trying to like sneak it in there, but couldn't do it. God damn it. Could you please? Please! There we go, that's a little bit of a... Not, not a massive dopamine hit, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, shit. Good. And I miss. I miss everything. Good job. God, this is gonna take me forever to go through this. I might actually just, like, move on. I was trying to angle that there. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. Okay then. So that's what that does. Multiple. Oh, there goes the other one. Yeah. Right, okay, I'm, I'm done with that. Not even gonna bother finishing that. So that was called Thunder and Lightning. Again, that sounds like the game of a fucking, like, epic, like, shoot 'em up game. Like, a fucking hardcore shoot 'em up shooter game, arcade thingy. I, ca I can't describe it, but you get what I'm saying? That sounds like an action game or, like, something more macho, like, blowing things up. But no, we get a fucking Arkanoid instead. Oh god, Cheetah Men 2. I didn't even fucking know this was in here. I haven't seen all the games that are on this collection of like games that I'm going through. There's over a thousand NES games, by the way, official and otherwise. So this game is infamous. If you've watched AVGN, then you'll know why. So this is a sequel to a game that came out on Action 52, which I've also not played. So here is the story for like all five people that actually care. I've never actually played this game before, I've just seen people play it. You must help the Cheetah Men fight Dr. Morbus and his evil team of mutants. So yeah, Cheetah Men was supposed to be like this one dude's like answer to like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like he wants to make this thing big. Kinda like that. Except this sucks and TMNT is actually fucking awesome. So there we go, Active Enterprise is the name of the company that made this. And here's the game. And guess what, it's garbage. I kinda like the music though, I have to admit. The music's quite memorable. For all the wrong reasons, but you know what, it's, it's, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard. Got all of those audio samples. So I have to use my crossbow to hit these enemies, but the enemies are like either too low or I have to like jump up and shoot. That one's in the right place, but you know, most of them are not. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know I could jump on that. It sunks monkey butts like all the fucking rest. Yeah, that action. Oh yeah, fall damage. I didn't even hit the grounds. And I took full damage. You know, I think I purposely might... I think Action 52 might be among these games, but you know what? I think I might actually take that out of Retro Roulette, because I might do that as like its own thing. Like, just stream all 52 fucking games. So, yeah, I, th I think after this I will do that. Until then, you can consider this like a little extra that's related to Action 52. But in the future, I think it would be best if I just, like, made Action 52 its own thing. Because that could easily take me two or three hours just to get through all 52 games. If it shows up in tonight's Retro Roulette, I'm just gonna, like, ignore it and do another one. I can't fucking get past the first few enemies, by the way. The controls are dog shit and the aiming is also just as bad. Yeah, just can't, can't fucking hit him. I'm not playing this up, by the way, I'm actually trying. Ah, and the camera scrolling. You know how in a good game when you scroll forwards, your character, like the camera goes ahead a little bit so you can see what's coming up? This game doesn't fucking do that. It waits until you're like about a fucking two thirds of the way across the screen before you start scrolling. And you can't fucking react to things coming up as a result garbage. Ugh. Right, well that was Cheetah Men. Uh, I can't stomach more than that. You get the idea. Don't expect me to like play through the entire level. I'm not even going to attempt to do that. Guerrilla War. I did actually try to like get through that level, but it was just too bad. It was too, too difficult to get through. So SNK made this. Hail the heroes of the revolution. The country is struggling against a cruel domination of the king. Their leader, 
and his comrades attempt to secretly... Uh, okay, I guess we're just not, not going to read that then. Don't you love it when they give you text but don't give you enough time to read that shit? Am I playing? Wait a minute. Oh, I see that was a demo. Okay, so now we're playing. I was confused there because it was like showing gameplay but it didn't say like press start. So it's like bootleg contra. I'm guessing this is like based off of an arcade game. Also, if you kill civilians, you lose points. It's like top down metal slug. Where can I find the heavy machine gun? Rocket launcher! I need to play Metal Slug again sometime. That game's great. Why did I shoot him? I mean, this is made by SNK, so... It almost does seem like something that would be cut from the same cloth as Metal Slug. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. This game's louder than the other NES games. I feel like I'm speaking over the volume, which is usually, like, the cue for me to, like, turn the volume down just a smidge. So yeah, this game isn't bad, actually. This is, um, pretty decent. What does in mean? In, in where? In what? Oh, it's a tank! Okay, it really is top-down Metal Slug, then. <laughs> this is actually fucking good, this game. Holy shit. Yeah, destroy everyone! Nothing can stop me now! This is a fucking quality NES game. I've never even heard of this game. I thought it was going to be garbage. Ah, oh, there goes my tank. But that was fun while it lasted, I like that. So I've got a spread gun now. Also, I see the sign now saying farm. playing until I get to the end of the level or until I get to the boss, whichever happens first. I'm not sure how many lives this game gives you. Alright, okay, do we start from here or do we go back to the start of the game? Continue. Right, okay, so let's, um, let's see if we can get to the boss then. I'm just gonna pass by these tanks there. I keep accidentally killing civilians in my, like, frenzy to, like, shoot enemies. Oops. Oh, that's a bomb? Right, okay, I didn't realise. Yeah, res rescue civilians by fucking running over them, that makes sense. Oh, so I just done that to myself. Yes, another tank! Yeah, get fucked! <laughs> this is like the most fun part of the game. Oh, except when you fucking kill civilians by accident, but you know. Is that the boss? Oh, so what? I've got like a fucking fire blast attack. So we're fighting some fucking general now. Is this Far Cry 5? Or 6? What was the new one, 6? Like we're in fucking Cuba, like killing the, the dictator that we saw in that trailer. Don't want to go with that grenades, otherwise it's going to be over. Oh, he ran away like a fucking pansy. Oh shit. Just when I think I've seen everything, this game throws that. Easily the best game I've played so far tonight. What a fucking palate cleanser after playing Cheetah Men. I've got grenades. 
Didn't realize I had those. Something tells me I'm gonna run out of continues. I don't know if I've, if I've got a limited number of grenades or what. Okay, there we go. This game has a lot of flashing, yeah. You have landed successfully on the island. Fight to take over the capital. That's just level one, by the way. So yeah, this game, this game is pretty good. I kind of like this. It's balls hard, clearly, but it's really polished. So that was Guerrilla War by SNK. That was a, a nice surprise. Next one, Joust. Didn't we Joust do this one? Didn't we just do horse jousting? By Williams Electronics. I've heard of that company. I think they ported Mortal Kombat to SNES. So I've never played Joust, but I am aware of it. It's like an arcade game. This is like an NES conversion. So I think you just like Joust the other bots. Kind of reminds me of Bowling Fight, actually. It's got that kind of feel to it. Because I like the flying controls. Oh shit. Physics, or something you have to like keep in mind with this game. Yep. I have no idea how they joust properly. Did I kill them all? Okay, I killed them all. Yeah, I'm not really good at that, am I? Let me try that one more time, see if I can figure out what I'm doing wrong exactly. I think it's like all about positioning. I think I'm supposed to strike them in the heads. And not have them strike me in the heads. I guess you just bounce off the top of them. Yeah. So it is kind of like blowing fight you. Aim for the top of them, essentially. Not gonna grab that then. There we go. Let me tell you, compared to Bone Fight though, these controls are a bit wonky. They're like very, very slippery, very loose. Like I can see what they're going for, but if you compare it, like if you play Bowling Fight for five minutes and then play this one, it's kind of like night and day how slippery this game is. I'm not sure if the arcade version was like this as well, I'm not entirely sure. I've never played the arcade one, let alone the NES game. Considering this wasn't made by Nintendo themselves, I bet it's just because the company that made this port didn't exactly know how to like get the feeling down, like they tried, but they couldn't get it down pat. Shit. You have no fucking recovery time when you die. Right, okay, so that's Joust. World Champ. I won't be streaming for much longer, by the way, this will be a shorter retro let. That we can play for a little bit longer, get a few games down. Romstar again. I've never heard of that company, but that's the second time I've held Romstar tonight. So World Champ, something something boxing. Super Boxing Great Fight. Great fucking name. Super Boxing Great Name. So I can assign some stats to myself. Uh, speeds. Oh, okay then. 
I guess I didn't do that correctly. I was trying to figure out how to, like, assign stats to myself. Good fucking broken sound clip. So this is not that boxing game where somebody looks like they're giving you something in the corner of the ring. It looks like it, but it's not. This is a completely different game. That said, I'll wait until the bell rings so we can see what the animation for being in the corner looks like, because maybe it'll be similar. Probably not. So I'm trying to figure out what the controls are. I think A is to punch and B is to dodge. Wow, that's really, like, really fucking... I, I don't know if that sound, like, actually sounds like that on a real NES. I'm playing this on an emulator. Uh, but uh, holy shit is that voice sample really fucking bad. It's almost as bad as, like, speaking of bad, bad dudes. It's almost, like, that bad. I'm bad! Right, so there isn't, like, a, an animation where you're in the corner, recovering. Oh, I see, so I can assign something. Let's... I only have one point, so I'll just assign... I don't know, we'll, we'll do uppercut. I, I don't even fucking know how to do that. Whatever. Oh, jeez, I'm getting my arse in me. Yeah. Up. Oh, nice. I actually got him down this time. That was just a fluke, I guess. <laughs> no, it has to sound better than that, surely, on real hardware. Surely. Maybe they just don't know how to emulate that sound properly on, on this particular game. Like, because emulators can, like, simulate the sound, like, the, the sound samples fine, but maybe this game... It just sounds garbage for some reason, like maybe they couldn't figure out how to like get it to work properly. If that's actually how it sounds on an NES, then good fucking lords. Yeah, get, get knocked down. Yeah. Why am I still playing this one? I feel like I have to ask myself that every fucking game I play on Retro Lit. Nah, I'm not getting back up from that one. Knockout. Alright then, well that was... World Champ. Heavy battle. Oops. Heavy battle. You can just ignore that, I pressed the wrong button there. Right, so what do we have here? Who made this one? Is this an official game or a bootleg? Oh, Data East made this? The same guys who made Bad Dudes? Mission, destroying enemies underground artillery base. Oh, it's like an arcade shooter. So yeah, compare this to that game that SNK made, so I, I forgot what it was called already, Guerrilla War. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but you can the difference is kind of like night and day, almost. It looks like bootleg Metal Gear Solid, or Metal Gear, as it was called, like the NES one. I feel asleep. Three lives and you're dead. Do I get to continue from this spot? Yep. Right, okay then we'll play for a bit longer. So it's not... It's not garbage. But at the same time, there's just no competition when you compare this to Guerrilla War. Or whatever that SNK game that I played ten minutes ago was called. 
but it's not it's not it's not terrible it's serviceable ah really easy to die though then again it's easy to die in games like contra how do you open those things Oh, so what are those? Meant to be thermometers? Look like thermometers, all the keys. Oh, I see. They open those boxes. Right, I get it. I didn't realise what was going on there at first, but then I see. Oof. Game over already, again. I'm guessing this game also has a finite number of continues, so it's like maybe three or five continues. Don't you love it when you have to fucking wait for the camera to catch up to you? Oh, that's where all the, all the fucking sand disappeared. Spam the A button to win. There we go. Why did all the sand grades disappear during that boss fight? That was weird. Oh, I've got limited ammunition, right, I see. I didn't realise the B button I've got 38 shots and the A button I've got 83. Uh, yeah, I can speak. Oh god, it's those fucking things. Th th those, like, floating guys that I just saw there reminded me of something from the TMNT NES game. Those, like, enemies toward the end of the game that look like that, that are, like, really fucking annoying. If anyone's played TMNT for NES, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Probably not. I bet people watching this right now don't understand what I'm talking about. Don't, don't, just don't worry about it. So, that game was okay, I guess. It wasn't the worst thing I played tonight. Cheetah Men was the worst thing I played tonight, but yeah. It was serviceable. It was probably an early NES game. And for that, I guess it was fine. Dragon Power. I've still got those other Dragon Warrior games here because I checked the Dragon Warrior game the last time. I don't know really if I should even bother checking the other ones because they're all just kind of like the same kind of idea. So Dragon Power, made by Bandai. Portal Hermits. Okay, okay. Let's go on a trip. What is this Dragon Ball Z? How do we search? Use this! Dragon Radar! Now, let's go! Good, good sentence, uh, good sentence structure you got there. Wait, is this Dragon Ball? As in, like, the OG Dragon Ball and not, like, the Z variant? I'm, I'm not sure. I've never seen either. Either way, I'm playing as, like, a monkey man. Like, there's his tail, you see that? I think, oh, what is that, his foot? I can't, I, can't, I can't tell. He's got like monkey ears and a monkey mouth. Oh no, that is his tail, right? Okay, so it is a monkey. Monkey man. Little monkey fella. And now we're punching a raccoon with a fucking sword. That makes sense. I love video games, don't you? <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sounds. And now to the segment. This is a boss fight. Just fucking yeeted him off the screen. Yow, help. Oh no, he looks so happy while he's saying that. Did she get caught? Gone for five minutes and then she gets fucking kidnapped. Good job, monkey boy. Just gonna kill a few more zigzagoons. But I could go in 
that crack there. Oof, oof. Hurry! Help me, please! I break that rock? It looks a bit discolored. No? Okay then. Hey! Are you alright? I'm fine, but... Get that band... of thieves. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. Can I resume from that point, or do I have to, like, start from the very start again? Is it one of those games? I can't seem to do anything. Continue. Oh, I have to, like, do the level from the beginning again. That sucks. Also, that's an awkward animation of her hand moving, you see that? Right, okay, I'm not doing that again. Pokemon Green? There's, whoa, there's a whole bunch of Pokemon games here. What is this? Yeah, let's do, let's do Pokemon Green then. What the fuck is this? They're all unlicensed, by the way. Totally. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're taking the word green a little bit too literally there. Fucking Green Clefairy. Right, okay then, what, what kind of game is this? Oh, it's a platformer? Right, okay then. I wonder, I wonder if this is like a real game that's just been like skin swapped or if this is like a bootleg game that was made from the ground up to sell in fucking Taiwanese like flea markets. I've never seen this before. I've seen some like bootleg Pokemon games like the ones that JonTron talked about, but I've never seen this, this one in particular. So I'm fighting like fucking bouncy fruit and weird mask faces. And I'm grabbing green strawberries. Why, why am I green? Why didn't you just call it Pokemon Pink and made me like green, uh, pink colored? Maybe there goes the rest of that food. Can I interact with this question mark? Looks like I can do something here. I mean, the game's not terrible. It's very, like, the controls are fairly responsive. It doesn't feel like a shit game. I think it's like an official game, but somebody, like, just changed the graphics and called it Pokemon Green. Again, to sell in, like, Ty Taiwanese, like, back alley bootleg fucking alleyways. I don't know what I'm saying, but you get what I'm trying to talk about. So yeah, this must be like a legitimate game in the sense that like just somebody like just changed the graphics and that's it. It feels like the controls and the gameplay feel decent. It feels too good for a bootleg. So that must be what's going on here. Oh jeez. That's a little bit unforgiving though. Did I run? No. Yeah, it's a little that's a little bit. A little bit tricky dicky there. Oh, we got a fucking blue color fairy now? What the fuck? Is that Pokemon Blue down there? Um. Sorry, Clefairy, I can't, I can't figure out how to get you. I guess you're just going to have to suffocate underground. Sorry. I'll play this until I get to the end of the level, or until I lose all my lives. I've got three more lives, so... 
We'll play this one for a bit. I wonder if the bosses are just gonna be... Assuming this is like a real game with like graphic, like sprite swapping graphics. I wonder if the boss is gonna be like the original boss graphics or if it's gonna be like another Pokemon, like a fucking, I don't know, like a Red Cliff area or some shit. Also check out that walking animation. <laughs> it doesn't even fucking look properly. It's like I'm just like... It's like she wants to dab, but she's too lazy, so she just like lazily moves her arms to the left or right, but not raise them over her head while bowing her heads. How can you bow your, your head? You're like, you're like all fucking heads with legs and arms. Right, well, surely I'm almost done with the first level. Is there going to be a boss fight at the end of this? Nope, there's more level. Let's keep going. I mean, the graphics, like, the graphics in the environment look pretty nice. It looks like, visually, it looks like one of the higher quality NES games. Very cartoony. Also, this projectile is really fucking short. So those other Pokemon games that you saw, oh, you can bounce on enemies? I didn't realise you could do that. But yeah, those are the... Um, can I... What, what is that projectile that I'm firing? What is that? I honestly can't fucking tell what I'm firing, it looks like. I, I don't even know what that is. It's like... It's like a conveyor belt with, like, two red beans in the middle and, like, a weird... Thing going down the middle? I, I I don't know. What do you guys think that looks like? Because I couldn't fucking tell you myself. Yeah, grab some of that cake. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of like bootleg Pokemon games it seems like, but we're just gonna check them out whenever the randomizer picks one for us. So it could be a while before we see another Pokemon game. But you know what? Better to like uh, spread it out across different parts of Retro Roulette rather than doing it all at once. Oh hey, look, it's Wispy Woods from Kirby. <laughs> okay, so who's who's this little fella? Oh wait a minute, I th I think I recognise that character. Is this Hello Kitty? I think I've seen that character. It's like one of the side characters from that show. I've never seen the show, but I've seen the characters from it, so it's like something that you can see in like merchandising and shit, so I guess this is a, a Hello Kitty game, so yeah, it's like a real game. I think I did see Hello Kitty as a game listed here, so when I eventually see that picked, I guess we'll check for sure. Anyway, I wasn't paying attention there. What am I doing? I have no fucking idea. Oh, hey, look. I matched two chickens, or... Wait, is that not the objective? What am I... what? Nani? What is going on? I... did I lose? I guess I lost. Okay, back, back to gameplay, I guess. Do I want to keep playing this? I'm, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a boss fight. I mean, this is my last life anyway, so let's see how far I can take it. I guess that's how far I'm taking it. What happens if I continue? Do I start from that level? Nope. Right, okay then. Well, that was Pokemon Green. I hope you enjoyed that. We still have... We've got Pocket Monster, Pokemon 2000, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Gold, and Pokemon Silver. And Poker, but that's something entirely different, so... Eventually we'll check out the other bootleg Pokemon games as we go through these. Next up, Gotcha the Sport. Isn't this that fucking paintball game? I think I've seen this somewhere.
there's like a game called Gotcha, and it's like a, it's like you play as somebody with like a paintball gun. It's like a license thing. Oh look, LGN, my favorite fucking company. Yeah, it's like paintball. What's that? Real guns? Nah, it's paintball. It's fine. Oh, it's a light gun game. Well, this one I can't play then. I haven't set up the emulator for this sort of thing, so... I guess we'll just ignore that one. Eventually, like, if I can figure it out, I can eventually come back and do light gun stuff, but I haven't figured out how to get that working on this emulator, so we're just gonna ignore that for now. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, how's far? Didn't we... did we play this one? I feel like we did a Dra Dungeons and Dragons game, this might be a different one though. Video product. Weird wording, but okay. Hillstar! Or Hill CR! Okay, can I... I'm, I'm pressing buttons, can I start? Write a current character, load a, a character to write? What is this fucking wording? Generate a character, save your current character. See, all this stuff makes sense, but what the fuck are we talking about writing a character? What, what does that mean? No game saved. This option is for games in progress. Use the load a character to write. Shit, generate, right, we'll make a new character. We'll go with a... Uh, Wait, half elf and halfling? What was the difference? Let's go with half elf, male. Uh, cleric, fighter, mage. Yeah, let's be all three. Apparently, you can do that in Dungeons and Dragons. I've never played D and D, so I I don't fucking know. Uh, chaotic, evil. D D D. We're just gonna call him that. Right. So saving character. No load character to write, DDD. -D -D. Right, here we go. I wonder if this is going to be worth the effort. Probably not. You currently have 17 hit points. You are at your campsite. Do you wish to enter? Yes or no? Yes. Um. What did I? No? Oh, I see. You say yes to go back to the loading screen. Right, okay. So where am I going exactly? Oh god. I press the A button and I do like the fucking world's slowest jump animation. <laughs> wow, really? Gameplay! Oh, wait a minute, I can go faster if I hold it to the right. Huh. Okay then. I mean, it's still, it's still sluggish, but we're getting there a little bit quicker. You currently have 17 hit points, you're in the city of Hillsfall, do you wish to enter? Yes. Oh, there's a lot of information here. Your left side stables. Your left side stables, do you wish to ride out of town? No. You do not enter, do you wish to ride out of town? Wait, what? What is going... Oh! I didn't realise I was in control of that avatar up there. Right, let's go into the church then. Let's see what happens if I go in there. This is weird. The, do the door is locked. Will you open it? Yes. Um, do not try to open this. Use physical strength. Pick a lock with an object. Use a knock ring to open. Uh oh. I took too long. You have sprung a poison gas trap. The trap something... Did I die? Wait a minute. The trap has co cost you three hit points for it. Let's go back. Back up, back up. I didn't realise I was on a time limit there. Let me try that again. I was just looking at the options first. Right, let's use physical strength. No. Do not try to open this lock. That just cancels it. Hmm. You search the area, but you find nothing. Sorry, nothing. 
yeah, this is kind of garbage, this game. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing right now. Again, I'm sure it's a game that's like very ambitious for its time, but it's like... And I don't fucking know what to do. This is probably one of those games that requires like a fucking manual to understand how to play it properly. You do not have a knock ring. It's too late, you better hurry. Yeah, okay then. Yeah, I'm done with that one. Next. Sayuki World 2. Tenjoaki no Maijin. This one's translated. Do you think this is going to be like that fucking suicidal princess... Princess Joe Orgy thing, whatever it was called, something like that. I forgot the, the entire title of it. Let's find out. I don't think anything will ever top that fucking title, to be honest. I think we've seen the best title of this entire like collection of NES games. So, Sayuki World, the evil spirit of Haven, or Heaven. Is this Dragon Ball? <laughs> I'm, 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 just, I'm just being a dumbass, don't mind me. I know it's not Dragon Ball, I'm, I'm just joking. So I've got like an extendable stick, I think this is based off Japanese mythology or something? Or Chinese mythology, I'm not sure which one. So yeah, it's a platformer. Oh, we've got some Mega Man scrolling. It seems fine actually, it doesn't seem too bad. Controls are responsive. Okay. Oops. Oh jeez, what the fuck? Giant eyeballs, what the hell? I was not expecting huge fucking bulging, like, veiny eyeballs to like fall from the sky at that moment. That was the last thing I was expecting, pretty much. And then we get, like, fucking goblin hands. Have I played this game? I feel like I've played a game like this. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but something about this, like, seems familiar. Realm of the Woods, Realm of the Decay, Realm of Water. Fire, darkness, and metal. Oh, we can pick a level. Uh, let's do Realm of Darkness then, why not? So we get like a level selection. Good music. Oof. Yeah, I. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I not? I thought I thought I lost all my health. Did I not die? Oh jeez. Wow, this game is just like fucking eyeball city. I have you. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Seems like I'm about to die right now. Oh god. It's one of those games where it just like endlessly fucking beeps until you either die or heal yourself. Oh shit. That was close. Wait, I can pogo? Well, I can't pogo, but I think I can pogo off enemies. I can pretend I'm pogoing though. Boing, boing. Okay, well. Oh, jeez. Continue. Oh. 
Right, we'll send some back here again. Let's try a different one. Let's try... Let's try fire. Obligatory fire level. Obligatory volcano level. So the game's alright. It's, it's not it's not the worst thing. It's, it's decent. Probably the kind of game though that requires a lot of trial and error. Like you have to know where everything is so you don't like get hit too many times. Either that or have like lightning fast reflexes so you can like avoid shit that like comes your way. But it's it's fine. God that lava does a lot of damage. At least it's not insta kill, but it still has a lot of damage. So if I hold up, I do this. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. Can I block things? Like I can block things above me. Let's go. Oh, I picked up something that extends my attack. Right, okay. Interesting. Oh, shit. Also, the face that he makes when he gets hit is amazing. I can't pause the game. Oh, wait. The select button is paused in this game. But when you pause the game, you can't see your sprites. So I can't really show you the, the face. You can just pause the YouTube video, I guess, and just look at it. I don't have much else to say about this, it's fine. It's not terrible. Oh, that's convenient. I guess I'll get to play this for a couple more minutes. I'll try pushing for the end of the level at the very least. I'm not sure if I'll make it, if I'll make, if I can even... Blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure if I can even make it that far, but I'll try. Oh yeah, so the the dudes, the the creator of Sonic, Yuji Naka, the guy who also created Knights, has kind of like announced like a spiritual like successor to like the Knights franchise. I forgot what it was called, but it looks pretty cool. I've never played Knights, but uh, the game looks fun. It's being published by Square Enix. I, I if I can remember the name of it, I would tell you. But take my word for it; it looks pretty fun. So here's the boss. Fireman. Can I beat him? Okay, we beat him. We barely defeated the boss. Nice. I'll take that Dragon Ball, thank you very much. The Dragon Ball of Fire has been obtained. At least I can say I beat one level. Let's just quickly look at one more. Uh, let's do Realm of Metal. See, the three to the left sound boring, the one, the three to the right sound interesting. So apparently those islands made the metal in this game. Is that Rayquaza? Or Rayquaza, however you say that. Because that's what it looks like. Right, I think I'm done with this. Oh, it's an ice level, my favourite. Right, okay then, so that was that. What was that called again? Say Sayuki World 2. Interesting platformer. Mickey Safari in Letterland. Mickey as in Mickey Mouse. I've never heard of this one. There's a couple Mickey games there. We'll do a couple more games and then I'm gonna head off for the night. Yeah, it's Mickey Mouse. I've never heard of this one at all. It's gonna be like a fucking edutainment game, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like it. Normal, advanced, or super advanced? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> super advanced, let's go. Oh god. What have I gotten myself into with this game? So we've got the forest, we've got the swamp, we've got. Wait, what was that? Jungle, pyramids, the 
Kara be in the Caribbean. And Yoko, Yokon, whatever the fuck that is. I'm gonna go for... I don't know, we'll do jungle? That's the most safari like country, or like region, I guess. So it's not... Is it an edutainment game? I mean, it looks like a platformer, but... Okay, that's weird. I don't, I don't jump. You, you can jump, but if you walk toward the bridge, you're like, kind of like, yeet yourself onto it. That's weird. Is this fucking calf from the Jungle Book? Just a blue one? Yeah, I think this might be like a, an edutainment game, it seems like. Like, grab the letter S. I'm not sure if that was due to timing, I was like trying to grab a certain letter there, but... Yeah. So the object is just to like, find and grab the letters. Su. Su sucks. Sun. Sun, right, okay then, yeah. It's an edutainment game. You did it! Hurry! You and oh boy. <laughs> yep. Gorsh! I uh, hear. Yeah. I can't do a goofy voice, eh? Right, okay then, so what have we got here? So, what's going on now? Um... S? Oops! Oops! Uh, is this Hangman? Let's do E. N no. B? Oops! I meant to pick B there. Uh... Oops! 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 Wow, really? Oops! Oops! I! Oops! It's an I. Oh, sorry, did it, did it show me I? Sorry, I, did, I, did, I didn't even notice. Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought I had to guess the letter, I didn't realise it showed me the letter, I wasn't paying attention to it. Right, well there's a letter E. Yeah, you can't die in this. Was that you want a game with challenge? Nah, but we're just gonna make sure you don't die. You know what game I should stream again? Uh, well, I say again, but I played it once, I've never streamed it. Uh, the Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion remake that came out several years ago. That game, that remake is quality. And the music was composed by Grant Kirkhope as well, so if you like Banjo-Kazooie music, you'll hear little bits of that within the compositions. So the world of the day is B. There we go. That was easy. Not that there's any like difficulty to this game. B -E 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 -E. It's hip to fuck bees. <laughs> Vinny Vine Sauce reference, by the way. So let me pay attention to the tablet. Maybe it shows you the letter there. I, I again, I wasn't looking. Wait, what? Oh, wait. I... D? Oh, right, okay. Well, I, I understand what's going on now. Right, okay, so let me let me try to explain my, my thought process there. The first one was I, like it's showing you Mickey with an I. I thought that was like a number one, as in you have one chance. I didn't realize that was a letter. I thought when you said it was the letter I, I thought you meant like the cutscene with like Goofy was showing the letter I. I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Play an educational fucking baby game and I still can't play it. Right, okay then. So that one was called Mickey Safari in Letterland. Seems like there's a Numberland one as well. Maybe we'll see that eventually. 
Next up, RBI Baseball 3. I think we did 2 because that's not listed. I think we did that previously. Let's check out 3 and see if that's any different. I don't remember what 2 was like. This one will go by quickly, I think. RBI Baseball by Atari Games, Tengen. So it's just baseball, basically. Yeah, okay, can I start? I don't care about the teams, I just want to play the good goddamn game. I'll rise for the shitty an national anthem, like the shitty 8-bit version of it. I'm not saying the American anthem is shitty, I'm just saying this rendition is bad. Crap! Crap. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm batting right now. Oh, he's gonna grab it, isn't he? Yep! Aunt! Oh jeez, foe. Right, well I sucked. Okay, now I'm pitching. There we go. Managed to get someone out. That's gonna be a foul. Shit. Oh, good. Yep. Wow, really? Just so you know, I'm controlling the person nearest to the ball. Is that going to be a home run? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Somehow managed to grab that. Oh, we even get an instant replay. That's awesome. That's the highest compliment I can give this game. Are you going to do a Mario baseball game someday? I live in a country where baseball is not that big, so I, I don't know. I mean, I live in a country where soccer is a big thing, and I don't really play Mario Strikers Charged. I think that game was called. So I don't know. Uh, baseball is not exactly my thing. I don't know everything about baseball. I know like the very, I know the general gist of it, but I don't know all the rules and all like the intricacies of like the game. So I don't know. The only Mario sports games I've ever played are golf and tennis. That's about the extent of my Mario sports expertise. What was the GameCube like baseball game called? Was it Mario Sluggers? Or some something like that? Right, I think I'm done with this. You get the idea. Right, so next one. Stoke and match golf versus. So... I don't have like a, a nun versus version of this. So this is like an arcade port of... An NES game, I think. Oh, it's just golf. Right, okay then. How do I do it? Hang on. Trying to figure out... Oh, I see. Right, okay. So... Right, I found the button for, like, adding credits. So it's just... I'm gonna do one player. If I can figure out how to start this. So I played golf on NES, but I've never played the the, fir the versus version. Oh, it actually has music. That's weird. Huh. Yep. That's usually how golf NES goes for me. Is like every fucking first shot always goes in the bunker. Oh, right, I need to use the wedge. Sand wedge. Get out of these fucking holes. There we go. Yep. 
yeah. I haven't played this game enough to know how far things are gonna go. Sandwich. Now we can put. Ah. Really? You get the idea. Right, next. Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2. I think I streamed the first one a couple years ago. It was on that, um, fuck, what was that collection called? The Disney Afternoon Collection. I've never played the second one. So we'll check that out for a couple minutes, see if it's just as good as the first one. But yeah, Chippendale Rescue Rangers is a solid platformer by Capcom, so this should be good. If the sequel is also made by Capcom, which it is because it said it on the title screen there. Or the, you know, you know what I mean. The screen that precedes the title screen. I wonder if Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers is on Disney Plus actually, because I've been using Disney Plus lately, but um I don't know I don't know if that show's on there. I need to see which Disney Afternoon cartoons are on that uh, like service. I know they've got like classic DuckTales, but I don't know about this one. It is on Disney Plus, that's good to know actually. I might watch that. I've just been using Disney Plus to watch Simpsons for the most part. I'm on season 26 at the moment. Can I skip this? Right, okay, so let's just skip that so we can get to the gameplay. So here is a... Which one was this? A chip, I think. The smart one. And then you got like Dale, which is like the dumbass with like the red nose. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much like Chip and Dale, the first one, so yeah, it's just more of the same. The cool thing about, I'm assuming this game also does it, but the cool thing about the first Chip and Dale is that it was like same screen co-op, like you could have like a, a second player playing as the other character and have both of you like playing at the same time. Which is which is kinda cool for NES because most NES games it's like you take turns. But in, in the first Chip and Dale game it's like both players can like play simultaneously and like play cooperatively and help each other out. Oh shit. So yeah, it's just basically more of the same, that's cool. I, I think there was a third game listed, but that might be a bootleg because it doesn't say Rescue Rangers, it just says Chip and Dale 3. So I don't know if that's gonna be like a... that might be like a bootleg game. But this is the real article, so that's cool. Next up, I can remember... I, I don't remember this one. Apparently this game is official, it doesn't say unlicensed. Copyright 1990 by IGE. Fisher Price? Oh god, Fisher Price. Did I not play a Fisher Price game at some point on stream? What is this? Uh, Old McDonald had a farm. Yeah, with the quack quack here and the quack quack there. What is? What is? I can remember. Is that like a Fisher Price toy? I don't. I don't know. I know what Fisher Price is. It's like a a company that makes like children's toys, like edutainment. Ed yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so one player. Play alone. Spell your name. Ah. Oh god, I was trying to press left there to go to the right side of the screen. And you get this fucking sound effect, like, enjoy this. Yeah, fill that, fill your fucking ear holes with that one. Level 1. Okay, it's a cassette tape, and that's a cassette tape, so I somehow managed to match those up. Oh god, that sounds... I feel like I did play a Fisher Price game at some point, but I forgot what it was, to be honest. Oh jeez. Okay. So it's just a glorified advertisement for Fisher Price toys, essentially. I 
wonder what happens when I finish this. I'm kind of curious now. We got a fire truck. And we got one of those little... I forgot what you call these things. The little scooter thing that's got like bouncy balls inside. I think that was under 11. Yep, there we go. I can't tell what that picture is behind this. Uh, seven? Shit. Right, there we go. So the picture is a doorway. I have no fucking idea what I'm looking at. Why would Fisher Price make a video game? Oh, it's like an easy bake coffin thing thingy. And I'm not entirely sure. Ah, you did very well in this room. Press any button. Oh god, this fucking like. Was was the word I'm looking for royalty free like music that's playing right now? Public domain songs. Is that a twinkle little star that's playing right now? <laughs> Right, okay, I'm done with this. That that was kinda garbage. I hope I can never remember that fucking game again. Next one, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. I think AVG ended a video on this actually. He did like a bunch of Star Wars games in like one video. I wonder if this is one of them. Look his film. Alright. I don't remember if AVGN did a video on this. Look, sensor show a meteor has landed near you. Go check it out. I think he did, actually. Oh yeah, I think I do remember this now. Yeah, this was like a game that AVGN covered. Look, the lightsaber is the weapon of a Jedi! Thank you for interrupting the game to tell me that. Valuable information. Much appreciated. Is that Wampas? Oh shit, I accidentally jumped off my... ...fucking space kangaroo. There we go. I like how there's like random music cues and then it just fucking goes silent after that, that's weird. Like, you get a little bit of music and then utter silence, except for that sound effect, but it's mostly just like, it just goes quiet after that. Oh, jeez. So yeah, it seems okay. I mean, it's not absolute garbage. How do you dismount this fucking thing? I'm, I'm trying to, like, grab the heart. How did I do it in the first place? I'm, I'm not even sure. Start button. Choose force power. Sorry, you don't have any. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, select is how you, like... Oh, that's good. Now, now I can't fucking reach him. Awesome! Good fucking game design. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to say goodbye to Space Kangaroo then and just fucking hoof it. Did Luke ever fucking take out these little drone droids by himself without a vehicle? Because I don't remember that from Star Wars. I don't know, I've never seen the Star Wars movies. If you can believe that. Also, good way to start off a video game by giving you an ice level right off the bat with ice physics. Because I'm sure everybody loves those in platformers. Mm. 
your jumping arcs in this game are very stiff. It's hard to explain. But it's like you move in a very abrupt diagonal forward when you like jump forwards. Don't don't kill me, please. Oh, you can aim up. Well, I didn't realize you could do that. I'm about to die, Squirtle. Just got some health in the nick of time. Oi. And I took a lot of damage because I fell in the water. And I'm dead. Yeah, that, that weird sound that you're hearing, that's just like the game making, I guess, like droid sound effects. All too easy. Okay, admittedly, that was kind of a, a pretty good, like, recreation of the Darth, War, uh, Darth Vader breathing sound effect, the mask thing. So is that game over? <laughs> that's like the most inappropriate, like, game over continue music. It's like, oh, you're dead, but don't worry about it, you can try again. Try again, you must! Game over, you should not do. I can do your voice. I can do any voice. It's, it's, it's starting to sound more like Jar Jar Binks now, so I'm gonna shut up. Right, okay then, so that was Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Uncharted Waters. I've been streaming for a while, holy shit. I, sh I should really stop. <laughs> I'll, I'll do like a couple more games and then I'm gonna stop for real. I've been streaming for nearly five hours at this point. An EJ Fokoiza thing from the Rico Ishon series, whatever that is. I'm not sure what kind of game this is. 80 years ago, my great granddaughter was called up by Prince Henry, the navigator, to set sail in the name of Portugal. I would stick around for this, but it's going to take a while to show me all the story, so we'll just skip that, I guess. Is this okay? Yes. Please assign bonus points. Courage at 69. Nice. Right, okay, well, charisma. Let's add some charisma. A little bit of wisdom. Intelligence. I'm gonna keep the courage at 69. Let's give me a bunch of strength. Right, there we go. In fact, you know what? There we go. Double the nice. I am A. My ancestor something. My ancestor. Open jet, I have struggled well. Okay, pressing the A button doesn't speed up the text, it just like skips the entire fucking dialogue. Ah, Christina, our fair princess. Her beauty takes my breath away. <laughs> nice smile. And this is my partner and friends. The old sailor. Yes, I call him the old sailor. I don't give him an actual name. One year ago, he sailed for India with my father in... Let me turn the volume down just a tiny bit. In hopes of restoring my family to nobility. Yet, as... I wish I could speed this up without, like, skipping text. They sailed home, a great storm swept them out to sea, killing such something oh, For fuck's sake, whatever. I don't care. Well to, Captain! So I think this is a real game, but right now it looks like bootleg Dragon Quest. Or bootleg Final Fantasy. How can I help ye? So, view market, buy, invest. Uh Buy? Um, no. Commoners on the not today. First of all, I can't do that voice. Second of all, I can't fucking... There's not enough time to read that. Commoners are not allowed in this palace. Get out. Commoners are not allowed in this palace. Get out! Make yourself at home, friends. Welcome, Marin, from... That girl with the flower in her hair reminded me of uh, Madden from Link's Awakening. So I can 
crew gossip tip find mates quit mates uh gamble yeah let's do some gambling poker or blackjack let's do blackjack anyone around here care for a game of blackjack uh i'm gonna bet 25 gold I will stand. I have let you win sometimes. I think I won? Yeah, I won. I got more. Right, okay, yes. Queen. Gonna bet 35 golds. Uh, stand. Yeah. If it's a tie, you'll lose money, I think. Uh, 25 golds. Alright, cool. What? We just started. The next day. Is there any actual gameplay beyond, like, gambling? What do you want to do? Sail? Yeah, let's go, let's go to sea then. Preparations are complete, Captain. We can sail for 18 days. Ready? Yes. Steady as you go. No leaving Libsyn. So where, where are we sailing to? I'm not controlling this, by the way. The game's doing this on its own. Yeah, look at those janky frame rates. Are we going to the Grand Line? Where are we going now? Again, I'm not controlling this, the game's just like doing this for me. It's just going wherever the fuck it wants. Like, sometimes it just fucking stops for a few minutes and then it starts moving again. It looks like I'm doing it, but yeah, I'm not pressing a single button. Yeah, don't you love video games that fucking take the control away from you for like fucking five minutes? And you're just like stuck watching this very long cutscene? What is that? Is that where the One Piece is? Nah, I guess we're just gonna ignore that then? Okay. Oh, there's land. Land ho. So how long did that take? That took like fucking two minutes. Oh wait a minute, I can bring this menu up. Uh, look. Inspect. No fleet within view. So it turns out I could bring up that menu at any time. I, th I thought this was like all automated. I mean the movement was automated, but yeah. Uh, debark. Port call. Go ashore. Yeah, let's, let's go up there then. Um... I don't know what's going on right now. Search. Search for treasure. Nothing to be found. Search the water. It's up to you. Search, yes. Our search was unsuccessful. I... What? Fix? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. You know what? I'm fine with that. Right, we'll do one more game. Hopefully this will be a good one. Major League Baseball. Mm, I might do one more after this. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting tired. Did we not do LGN? Good. Did we not do this one or did we do something like this? I'm not entirely sure. One player. Regular. American, whatever, we'll just go with the first one. Just want to get into the game, I don't care about teammates or anything. It's like the fifth batter. Wait, what? What, what am I doing wrong? Do not select.
I... I don't know why this isn't working. I'm trying to select a fifth batter, but the game won't let me. Do not select. Oh. Infielders, outfielders, catchers. So wait, which one is it? This one? Oh, I see. Right, okay. Sorry. Like I said, I don't know everything about baseball, so you have to excuse me and my lack of knowledge. I just want to see what the game itself looks like. I don't give a shit about my lineup. Right, so here we go. Apparently you've got this on cartridge. Oh. I swung a little bit early there, but then I did it right. I mean, it doesn't look as good as that one that I played like 10 minutes ago, but... Eh, it's baseball. Ah. Out. God damn it. I mean, he was safe, but the other dude got fucking knocked out. Shit. Complete, <laughs> complete wrong direction. Good hoods. There we go. That's better. Keep. I was going to tell them to keep going there, but I'm not sure if I have any control over that. They just went like once, and that was it. Yeah. I'm, I'm done with that one. Cart Fighter. Oh, this is a legendary game. I played this many, 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 many years ago. I never streamed this, like this was way before live streaming was even a thing, that's how far back we're going. If this is the game I think it is, this will be a good one to end the stream on, so we're gonna do this. You might have seen Joel stream this, or like Vinny stream this at some point, it's like a well-known bootleg. Yes! DVD translations? What, what does that mean? Is it, does that say DVD? But yeah, this is a pretty good one. So, it's a fighting game, but you play as the cast of Mario Kart, like Super Mario Kart, for some reason. So we got Luigi, we got Koopa Troopa, we got Bowser. For some reason, Peach looks really fucking different, I don't, I don't know why. Donkey Kong Jr., Mario, Yoshi, it's like classic Yoshi, and then Toad looks a little bit weird. Yeah, let's go with... When I play Mario Kart, I usually pick Yoshi, so we'll go with Yoshi. <laughs> So yeah, the, uh, the, has anyone ever seen this before? Because this is something that's well known. Like I said. Quite a famous bootleg. I have no idea how to play this. It's just a fighting game essentially, but I don't know how to do my special moves. I'm trying different things. Oh, I managed to do a sonic boom now, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll do a couple fights and then I'm gonna stop. I want to see all the characters at least, or most of them. Shit. See if I can defeat Koopa. There we go. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit. Look at that pose. You have seen this before. Yeah, I think most people have seen this before. I'm gonna turn the volume down just a smidge. Just trying to find the right balance between, like, the right volume levels for these games. I'm not sure how I did that, like, Sonic Boom thing. I'm, like, trying different button and direction combinations to see if I can, like, get anything to work. Oh, I, I stuck my tongue out there, that's interesting. Not sure how I did that. I don't think you can eat your enemies in this game. I think it just does damage on contact. Okay, it's the B button plus think like forwards. Or like some direction, I'm not sure which direction did it.
I think it may be A and B together, actually. Possibly. It's either the B button or it's A and B together or close to each other. But I'm not entirely sure which it is. Right, so who's my next opponent? It's Luigi. So we didn't find Luigi in Paper Mario tonight, but we sure as hell fucking found him here. Also, this level looks pretty cool. Bowser's Castle. Apparently you can grab enemies in this game as well, you can grab your opponent. Oh, that was my Sonic Boom. Again, not sure how I'm doing these special moves. It's the kind of thing we have to, like, figure it out just by trial and error. I think it's quarter circle forward punch. A. Quarter circle forward A button. But the controls are a little bit delayed because it's like an NES game trying to, like, simulate, like, a, an arcade fighter, so... Inevitably, you're gonna have, like, a, a little bit of trial and error trying to figure out how to do these moves. Yeah, it's quarter circle forwards and punch. I think I finally figured out that that's how you do it. Not sure how I did the tongue one, though. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me by fucking Ouija. Yep. Beat him first round and then he fucking destroys me on the second round. Oh, so why is part of him blue? Like, the outline goes from black to blue. When it, like, when it goes below his head, it, like, suddenly turns blue. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, yeah, his overalls are blue, but it kind of, like, clashes with the rest of the sprite. It's weird. You expect all of his outlines to either be black or blue, but not both. Come on. Stop fucking doing your stupid sonic boom and let me fucking hit you. Yeah, this ain't happening. Fucking obliterated. Uh, let's try... Let's try Toads. I mean, we've only seen like 50 million Toads tonight playing Paper Mario, so... We'll finish the stream off with this. Oh, that's cool. I can do a Hadouken. Hadouken! Not again, not sure how I did that. I'm still figuring that out. I think it's quarter circle full of punch. Oh jeez. My fucking Hadouken looks like a fucking mushroom as well. It's like a little mushroom cloud. Or a mushroom projectile. Uh, you dick, how did you fucking hit me by doing that? Did you see that? Bullshit. God, I wanted to do one more level just to see what else was in this game, but... Again, I'm getting tired and I'm gonna stop, but, but let me do one more character real quick before I stop. I'm going to pick Peach this time because she looks... Like, she looks really fucking different for some reason and I want to see how they animate that character. I, I don't know. Like, she doesn't look anything like her Super Mario Kart interpretation. Oh, they actually call her Peach. They don't call her, like, Princess Toadstool. Like, it's fucking Edge Peach. Like, what the hell? Again, she looks nothing like what she does in the other game. I mean, at least you can make the case for Luigi and Yoshi and Koopa and, like, Donkey Kong 
they, they all look like they're like official counterparts, but then you look at Peach and it's like it's anything but like the official one. Spin! I don't know how I did that there, but I can spin. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up shortly. Can I beat Luigi at least once at least? By throwing a fireball? Nah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I would play some more of that bootleg, but like I said, I'm like ready to fall asleep now, so that was a good way to end it though. That was a, a classic one to end on, so at least we got that. So I'll do some more retro retro Again, it's difficult for me to say retro roulette, like, back-to-back -back really quickly. I don't know why. Is that a me thing, or is it something that a lot of people have difficulty saying? I think it's, like, a me thing. But yeah, uh, retro roulette. We'll do some more of this in the future, maybe, like, a couple weeks from now or something. I would keep it to, like, once a week, but I want to, like, catch up on some games right now, so I'm not going to, like, commit to once a week. But we'll do some more of this soon, within the next couple weeks, I think.